three, the two, the nine last week, those are numbers of people that no longer have power because of disconnects from West Area? Uh, yes, we definitely have people without power. Um, I spent this afternoon working on getting um, a gentleman, uh, his family, hooked back up to power. Um, we had um, quite a few last week that we were working with as well, um, trying to make payment arrangements, trying to get some, some help out to them and get them reconnected as fast as possible. With two other utilities saying, no, we won't disconnect during the winter, and Westerio saying they will disconnect during the winter, what is their, um, uh, how do they arrive at this decision? Um, the concern for Westerio Power is if they have a blanket policy that they don't disconnect in the winter, then the whole community will decide not to pay their utility bills. Um, and that would be a hardship to, uh, to a small utility such as Westerio. And, and we totally understand that. So what we're asking for is consideration with our low income um, clients, the ability to negotiate, um, to understand that those that are, on, um, that are not on equal billing and have huge bills in the winter gives us time to, to cope and deal with that. I don't want to put words in their mouth or yours, but it sounds to me like they're saying we know that the communities are a bunch of deadbeats if we give them a chance. Um, I'm not going to put words in and, and suggest that uh, you know they're thinking any uh, along the lines of um, you know people would decide to take that holiday. I think it's a risk to them. So when you do a risk analysis, the risk is people would take a payment holiday. Um, you know who wouldn't want to forgo paying their utility bill for a month and, and be able to do something else with that money instead. So that's a risk management piece for them. And we're saying we can help negate that risk because if we deem them low income, we know that this is not that, you know, they've decided to go south with the money instead. It's just the money's not there and we need time and look at other community resources to cope with this. How are the families doing that don't have the power that you're aware of? How are they coping? Um, they're very stressed. It's extremely unhealthy. Um, uh, you know, uh, they um, are not you know, going to be eating properly, not looking after themselves. Um, the one we negotiated today, um, we asked ODSP to do um, a direct with deposit now, a direct withdrawal of their ODSP check to pay the utility bill. So we just took $185 a month off the ODSP, which means with the rent of $650, we're leaving them maybe $150 for food and all the other stuff. And so I know I just took food out of their mouths to make the arrangements, but that's the deal we had to strike to get the power turned back on. It's almost sounding like they were hoping for the weather to warm up just in case because if we had that cold snap like we've had for the last two and a half months, they'd really be in trouble. Um, this warming is, is really good news for this because it will um, reduce people's usage considerably. Um, so we're very, very happy to see spring come. And, you know, considering the, the severity of last winter, this winter was not as severe until we hit February and then everything went so cold for so long and that's where, you know, all that hope of, hey, it's not going to be as bad just went right out the window and, you know, we're having trouble finding wood and people are going through the utilities so much faster than, uh, you know, basically the same as last year. Are you going to be bringing this forward to other councils in Grand Bruce? Yes, I will be talking to other councils in Grand Bruce about this issue.